<laughs> Hello. Okay. Oh wait, no, you didn't count. Okay, count. Count. One, two, One. three. Sweet. Do we have to clap at the same time? Because that was off. Was it? Yeah, I don't know. What were we talking about again? Oh, I was saying you, because you're 18, you should go to school to be a producer because that's where the okay. money is. Yes, and so uh, this is a debate that I have with, like, everybody Yourself? in, well, included, oh, yes. Everyone, everyone, so just people on the street, debate. <laughs> Anybody that, that talks to me about my life, you know how you get the people who want okay. to tell you how to do it, life yeah. itself? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's the whole college debate and, and is college the way to go or do you spend that money and time on experience? Yeah. What would you well, say? What do you think? I think, well, I thought about going back to school actually and then same, like everyone told me not to and like I'm lucky because I do have a job in this field and I'm like, I'm using it to learn. So like I'm sitting yeah. alongside the editors and like getting writing experience and stuff so I can see I can see how I don't necessarily have to go back. It's mm -hmm. hard, right? Because like then I know people who went to school to be producers and then what happens is they are PAs for a while. Uh, and some people are really good PAs and I don't know if I would be because it's like doing a lot of different tasks and then, you know, you just wait <laughs> to, to, mm -hmm. to move past the PA. So it's like you're paying for school to do that and it's just like there's so many steps and if you can skip ahead of those steps in experience that's great too like I went to school for comedy and now I'm working as like a kids tv host and mm. I could have gone to school just for announcing or being a personality but I didn't uh and that's anyways so I don't know I would just keep doing what you're doing obviously it's working yeah. and then see probably see how you feel in another two years because like do you really want to go to school right now with That's COVID thing, and, yeah. and like, are you going to get all the experiences that you would have if it was in person, you know, like, yeah. You know. Uh, I have a couple friends that are in film school right now and they film have to like, expensive. <laughs> film school. Yeah, it is expensive. <clears throat> um, and like, they're doing everything a lot, a lot from home. And I don't want to do that. But uh, the question that I got from what you said uh, is do you believe that there is going to be okay well, let me let me find my words do you All think right, that fine. there is guaranteed work for someone who goes into college by the time you're out do you think you have, have a good shot at getting a job not necessarily no no, no. and I don't want to not... be spit out with a piece of paper in my hand and like you know yeah. like, I'd rather and... work and kind of hone my craft you know yeah and it's so competitive to begin with and if you can in the time frame that other people are learning like get your foot in the door yeah. so much so that within those two three years you're already at the place you'd want to be and it i think this job a lot of it is connecting with people and sending out emails and being tenacious and you're already creating your own content so uh yeah like what do you do like I, like how do you do all this stuff um, well i mean i and went you to have so many figurines which I is know. cool that's that awesome is that's 12 year old me you can Aww. yeah that's but um i do everything i do absolutely everything emails yeah. contacting keeping track of everything i'm yeah. sitting here in my chair doing the interviews and like yeah. if you watch my interviews closely you can see me like look at the camera look over there look <laughs> over here like is the audio recording did i forget this the lights are so it's like a lot of man micromanaging um by myself right yeah. yeah how has your like how have you been managing your show throughout this time okay yeah, so it's so I have a podcast called Spencer Wants to Know. Oh yeah, with, sorry. Um, oh, don't be sorry. It's uh, so it's really cool. Me and my boyfriend do it. Uh, it's quite easy because mm -hmm. <laughs> we live together. We're both into creating content. Like we both feel like we're funny people. So mm -hmm. it's it's been pretty easy, like in that sort of sense. And we were lucky to be with like a comedy network called Sonar Network. Um, yep. 
and then like I've been doing a bit of like content on TikTok and and like uh, starting to work a bit with brands and it's like when you look at the numbers sometimes it can be so depressing like when you're like you post something that you worked really hard on and it doesn't get as many views you're like why what yeah. so that that's something i've been struggling with but i think for me personally like it's like I, I i like being an octopus and having like my hands in all sorts of different things so having the podcast being able to create like some social media content still having my job as a kids tv host starting to learn editing and like knowing like okay some of the places i want to go into is producing is directing and like learning learning that while still having a job and still being funny and like like that's that's what keeps me going i like i have covid right and like oh my gosh being at home and not being able to go for a walk like i just like oh i realized how much i like doing things yeah but not just like one thing i'm not like that together like i'll be like mm, i gotta do my makeup and like put a cool outfit on or oh i want to make a podcast right now or oh i want to draw oh i want to apply to a job like i'm just so like fluid and like wanting to mm -hmm. do lots of different things i'm not super focused in one thing yeah that's probably like that's what sounds like it's a good way of managing things i mean i i'm in the trying to transition into balancing everything everything is about balance right um yeah so i'm getting towards that but uh right it, right now it's kind of like you get into a state where you don't want to do anything yeah. and you you just kind of wait you're waiting for sparks to to fly you're waiting for motivation and um for me like sometimes it works like i'll wait and then you know what like one day i'll be like okay i want to go downstairs and i want to work on it it works but it's it's not ideal so i need to kind of get like more grind more grind more oh we need to get you a pepper uh, like a pepper grinder and like make little use that are pepper and then we grind them and it's like they're like ah ah but 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 it, it creates great seasoning you see like we love pepper here i yeah. think i'm more of a pepper person than a salt person like obviously i probably like salt but i don't notice it sorry right salt always the pepper earth. always pepper your mayo <laughs> oh that's a life a rule thing. here's a fact i am not much of a i become more of a dip person like now now okay. i actually di i have a dip for pizza but that has taken years i only really? tried it this year yeah so what, mayo which... no thanks or ketchup well, no thanks but okay, one time so... with my mom i was a little tipsy and uh i tried ketchup and i was like this is delicious it tastes like ketchup chips and she was like spencer it's okay you can like ketchup and i was like no i won't never like right. this is a thing this is me i everyone knows i don't like ketchup i'm a fraud i can't like and i wouldn't eat it anymore and she's like spencer you were enjoying it it's our secret it's this i was like no <laughs> uh your palate changes it's okay oh. to like new things oh my gosh is it my palate my palate is growing up yeah oh, my brain yeah. isn't my brain's still like let's be picky <laughs> yeah uh I'm, i wonder what i'm gonna like in the future like Oh, peppers man. i didn't like peppers for the longest time and then now they're like i, I love a stuffed pepper you know a I mean, stuffed pepper i still haven't had a stuffed pepper ever no i remember a guy who had stuffed peppers a lot and i was like never gonna try it we you dated and we broke Costco. up so for me stuffed pepper is like it's oh, a trigger okay. right. <laughs> you, i'm sorry you, it's my one thing i can't talk about Okay. I've, I've hit the one nerve one nerve and it was stuffed peppers <laughs> stuffed. um what goes in stuffed peppers meat meat yeah okay meat probably and, is good well cheese? there's meat and yeah and then there's cheese on top oh the costco ones have cheese on top but the wait so 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 you're a man of costco uh by well i mean yeah you, yeah. you you get you get to go to Costco because your family probably has a membership. Well, yeah, um, it's not I, in, I, it's what? here now. It's in Niagara Falls now. I mean, they, so that's they, good. we never had one before, and now we do. Oh, I've I've met a lot of people. Uh, okay, two, <laughs> that are, no three, a makeup artist, a producer who's done a lot, and a music talent who was also a TV host from Niagara Falls. So, I love my city. It's great. Oh, good. I want to be in Toronto. 
Oh, okay. You know? It's expensive. I know. But I don't want here. I'm not one okay. one day. One day. I want to be in the city. I want, you know, I love the city. Are you more of a city person or Oh yeah, I don't know how to drive, so I am. Like I uh I take the subway, the bus, mm-hmm. the streetcar. Yeah, I started using Uber, but I love the city. Like I love being able to like just show up somewhere else. Like it's so yeah. fun. Like just to like yeah. hop on the subway and be like, "Oh, this is where I am now." <laughs> yeah. I took the subway I think once in my life. I'm going to I went to I went to see Kim's Convenience. I think this I think they sold the store now, I believe. Yeah, I think I'm not you're sure. right. I'm not well, sure. We're not oh, we're went, not one to fact check here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have a guy sitting over there waiting to search it up on Google for me and bring it up and show you a, a picture of it. We're not so wait, there yet. What were you like in your life? Like do you have siblings? What do your parents think of you? Do you get along with your parents? Like what makes you wired the way that you are? Have you ever dated? Are you single? Do you feel your age? Um, do you want to grow your hair longer? These are my questions. Oh, okay. Um, well, I, I didn't retain all of them, but uh, I think that everybody shows uh, different sides to family as uh, they do like on, on a show. Oh, like, okay. So like, you're, you're like, are you a tyrant with your family? You constantly scream, punch walls. Is that what you're is that, is uh, that you're... No violence. No, no violence. violence. Okay. But <laughs> on the other hand, I would say that I, some, I guess I'm annoying. Oh, sometimes. I'm annoying too. So yeah. who are you annoying to in your family? Everybody. Everyone? Like how big is well, this family? Well, it's just me, my sister, my mom, my mom's, my mom's partner. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah, I've been there. But I'm not annoying to not me, me, though. Well, yeah. But how could you annoy them? Because, you, you know, yeah, you I'm a kid. Do you ask too many questions? A kid. I'm a kid. You, okay, you're a kid, but <laughs> what yeah. do you do? I'm annoying. I put my finger in my boyfriend's mouth whenever he yawns. I, I, I become a wrestler. I fight. I swear. I punch. Yeah, I bite. Yeah, swearing. Uh, I, I like, I'll make noises. I'll get energy randomly. Won't stop. Can't stop. Yeah. yeah. Like that's me. That's how I'm annoying. So how are you annoying? Well, swearing is number is one. And, um, <laughs> and I get, yeah, I get, I get very hyper. I get hyper mm, and, okay, uh, okay, I have a hard okay. time focusing on one, okay. one thing at a time. So okay. uh, I'll go, I'll be all over the place. Oh, okay. And I'm a so kid you- at heart. Okay, well, yeah, okay. With the so dogs. Gonna... I have two Wait. little doggies. Aww. And, like, I make weird noises around, like, around. I talk <laughs> to the dogs, you know, like. You think they understand you? In a, on some level. Yeah, you believe. Okay, I cool. think so. Okay. Like, like, when I was a kid, well, when I was a younger kid, and, like, my cat would be there, I'd, like, look at my cat and I'd say, you know, like okay, the the gig's up. You can talk. I know you can talk. Wow. I'm like I'm tr- I'm trying to convince my cat. Like yeah. I know. It's okay. I know you can do it. You're safe here. You can talk. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. never talked. Do you believe in anything? <laughs> That's a very broad question. Like like is there life after death? What do I believe? I believe. I so. I love Betty you said White. That. I think this could be a song. What do I believe? I believe. <laughs> What do I believe? I believe. Someone <laughs> get on that. Sorry, I interrupted as you were about to talk about Betty White, which I yeah. feel terrible about. Like, I was That's like, okay. oh, ooh, wrong well, time she... to speak. <laughs> she died yeah. two days ago, three days ago, something like that. It was huge. And I was seeing a video that, that she, I think she was talking to Larry King or Good Morning America or something. And they asked her, you know, are you afraid to die? Are you ready to die? And and she said, you know, that uh, that when you die, you you know the secret. Because that's the one thing that nobody knows, even if you think, you know, even if yeah. someone says, you know, like, this is what happens. And that's we know because of we know because of it. it you don't. Uh, yeah. It's a secret. It's and a secret. Um, so I think that uh, uh, when when I <clears throat> I edit sometimes a little bit when I. I'm trying not to edit. I'm trying to like ha- have less and less cuts and just let it flow 
normally, but at, yeah, we're almost there. Uh, yeah. I'll, I just want to tell you, like, for me, like, with YTV, it's, like, so much of it is, like, being able to talk well and, like, not stumble and stuff. Yeah. And then with my podcast, it's literally, like, I don't know things. I talk the way I would talk. And it's it, it was really interesting because, I've I, like, I've trained myself so hard to try to be, like, so perfect. And inevitably, I'm not going to be because that's not who I am. <laughs> right. And then on the podcast, I'm completely, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I get it's, it. Like I get the pull to wanting to come across that way, but then also yeah. wanting to just be free with it. So it's, it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but back to the death thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, secret, well, or... yeah, I mean, it's that that's the secret that you'll find out when you die. If you, if I come back, that's awesome. Uh, Reincarnation? Hopefully. Yeah. I, but I don't want to know anything about my past life. I don't want to remember okay. anything. Okay. Like, people say that's what deja vu is now. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't want to know anything about this life because at any point, like, as we're <laughs> going say, into the... F- because this life sucks. <laughs> 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 because <The> li- <laughs> literally sucks. <laughs> this life doesn't suck, but... No, it doesn't. Pl- <laughs> this place... If I could... Like, this place... There are some things that I, you know, have problems with in, like, as a society, as a... as a world, you know, I wish things would be a little bit different. I wish that, uh, you know, there was more peace and, and stuff like that. I would, I would like yeah. to go into a, a better world. That's not yeah. being yeah. demolished as we speak, you know? Yeah. And like, and, and to have understanding of one another. Um, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Do you believe in true love? Is there one love? Is there many mm. loves? Like, have you, th- that was a question. Have you dated anyone? You're 18. I need to know. I've dated before. Yeah, how's it gone? Have you fallen in love? Have mm. you fallen? In, have you? Have people fallen in love with you and you haven't returned the love back? Yeah. Have you not been able to yet? Because sometimes that happens. Sometimes, like, not to generalize too much, but maybe, like, for me in my case, when I was younger, I feel like I was more ready in a way, or I thought it was ready. And then, you know, I'm 16, he's 17, he's not. And mm-hmm. that's fair. And, like, I could tell, like, he probably felt a bit bad because you don't want to hurt someone. He didn't want to hurt someone. But inevitably, I'm going to get hurt because I'm like, I love you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Before I answer, I got to say that uh, the dogs have just joined us on the the show. (laughs) (laughs) Um, (laughs) People have, uh, someone has fallen in love with me that I don't know. Oh, that's okay. that's, That's not, that's not what I'm asking. Okay. Well, I have thought that maybe, yeah. but I but I, I think that once you do, you'll know that you, you have fallen in love. So have you dated for a long time? Like, have you been with someone for a year, two years, three years? No. No, I had one girl, I had one girlfriend in, like, go, coming out of elementary, going into high school. Oh, and okay. Yeah, so we, I mean, we grew, grew think people grow yes. apart. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. Grew apart. And there's a lot of pressure. You guys were like the it couple of from elementary school into oh. high school. Like that's a long time. Like everybody and looks so at you as the couple. That was grade grade nine, ten, eleven, okay. twelve. So that was like four four and a half years ago. Wow. But, but wait, wait, you dated for from grade no, nine to twelve? No, 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 no. Didn't last through the first year of high school. Oh. Okay. But the since then it, I've been alone. Okay. And you're okay with it. You're focused on, yeah. Focused on creating things. Okay, that's cool. Well, I, I do no li- I'm not. I don't like it. You know. Oh, I mean, you don't. I kind of feel like I. I'm, I want some. Like you know, I want <gasps> you someone. You do. Well, I feel like being with be, being with someone like kind of drives you in a way that nothing else can drive you to want to do things. You know. Wow. Well, yeah. I mean, I have a podcast with my boyfriend. We like write together. We create together. We're like we have the same sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Uh, just the other day he shaved his face that was quite mm. hairy and we put it on my legs and then he blew it off and it was fun it was a video it's like a little video it's like oh she's yeah. got hairy legs now she doesn't <sighs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's for me what love is <laughs> everyone it's different um, it's different for everybody it is okay but... and and your mom and you you ultimately like are you very are you closer with your mom would you say like like you have a like, I'm very close with my mom. Like, she... Yeah. Like, my parents are divorced. Div- my dad re-divorced his next... My stepmom, who's 
still cares and loves me very much. But like I've seen lots of uh, breakups. I've seen death. Um, but like I haven't through, seen death. Yeah, it's. I hard. haven't seen anybody close to me die, and I'm not ready to. But yeah. nobody's ready to. Uh, I do. I am close um, with my mom. Well, mom. Hold on. She can't, I have, can't meet her. You can't meet her? What? Okay, I mean, if you want me to, I'll say hi. I'll say hello. But, I mean, you don't... I was just... I'll say I don't hi. know. I mean, I, you could ask her what? the question. Um, okay, sure. She's awesome. my... She's, she's my uh, she partner in crime. Like, oh, she does okay. the show with me. All right, me. you know what? Bring, bring her in. I guess in. she's the producer. You can leave. Leave, leave oh. and bring her in. Just talk to her outside. Mom? Let her know what's happening. No, go out. Greet her in. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Okay. Don't disappoint me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know if you're... Hello? Mom? Yeah? Come here. Well, you're... Tell, tell her what's happening. I'm so excited. I, I actually I brought the phone to my mom one time. I had Carol Burnett on the phone. Oh, my God. And I brought my, the phone to my mom, and I'm like, Mom, someone's on the phone for you. And it was Carol Burnett. That's crazy. She, I've, I've actually met her. Like, I haven't met a lot of people. Oh. And she kept calling me Miley. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, can she hear Corner. me? She probably can't hear me. Corner. Can she hear me? No, she can't hear you. Well, like, give her an ear. Give what, her an ear. That? Give her give her an ear. Hold oh, on. this is Spencer. Spencer's the host, current host of YTV, one of the current oh. hosts. But more importantly, I wanted to say hi because I'm literally grilling him with so many questions. I'm like, do you believe in what afterlife? Do you, have you been in love? What's your relationship with your mom? And then he just went, Mom! Cut what? the camera. See the camera. Yeah. You have to bend. You have to come down. Otherwise, they're just looking at what? even further. See the see the little screen there that shows you what's oh. in frame. So so what's there your you relationship go. like as uh, mom and son? Like in your in your own words. Now don't. <laughs> he said he's annoying. He did mention that he's annoying, and I. He can do little things to get on my nerves because he knows it gets on my nerves. So yeah. I mean, that's a a kid to their parent. They do yeah. that. Yeah, that's kind of what he we said have too. A very good relationship. Wow. A very yeah. open, honest, um, good relationship, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, we go to concerts together. Oh I my do gosh. All his, yeah. I do I that do with my mom. Of, yeah, yeah. I do all his events with him and wow. and stuff. So I think that we are we we make a good team. And when did you guys start? <laughs> like this venture because like i'm so in awe i have to like, get all the I have people to ask. you talk to and stuff like when how did you know like how, how do you even pr do this so i you explain you go in my this, words this you. uh yeah. i think his first comic-con was when he was about 12 okay and he got up the courage to he got up the courage to ask somebody there i think it was it david green the comedian or was yeah, it David Green. Else? Okay, yeah. But so. that wasn't that didn't bring me into no, talking. No, but I kind of, kind of. Wait, so I'm telling you, she's 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 telling it like in her way. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Kinda, so kinda. from what I know, because I mean, he did a lot of things on his own, right? Hmm. He had his computer and did his things, and but hmm. from what I know, is at about age twelve was his first Comic Con, and I know he got up the courage there to ask somebody if he can interview them. Oh, and oh then, wow! Just like that. <laughs> Yeah, and I know that from there, um, like, that individual got him into other things, um, some stuff, to do some stuff on stage and into um, a radio talk show, like an online radio yeah. talk show. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'd say that, well, he did some acting when he was nine. <laughs> Don't tell him what it is. No, but. Because <laughs> it is on television. He did oh some God. acting when he was nine. <laughs> Um, but then I had to go back to work full time, so it was really hard being in the falls and 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 traveling back and forth to Toronto. So that was put on hold. And then yeah, when he was about twelve, he started interviewing people. Well, and... no, I wasn't twelve when I started interviewing people. I was like fourteen when I started interviewing. People. Okay. <laughs> David back Green, check. I asked David Green to interview me oh. because he was there doing videos. Okay. And I'm like, I want to be there doing That's videos. That's so funny. Yeah. That's so I'm hilarious. like, hey man, you're talking to people. <laughs> talk to me. And so he talked to me. Yeah. Oh, he did. And then, okay. he gave you the and then I went, he's, he, he does uh, like all kinds of comedy from here to Toronto. Yeah. That's his job. Yeah. Um, and so I, I kind of made a lot of friends that were in comedy. I met Adam Wickens, who now has a YouTube channel, Wickens Wicked Reptiles. Um, he now has over like 200,000 subscribers. And I've been, 
I actually started like, watching reptile videos like three days ago obsessively. So I think it's funny. I was like watching so much about snakes and I was trying so hard to like them. But mm. they, they they freak me out. I like a lot of different reptiles, but snakes, I don't know. I, I tried. I watched like an hour worth of snake videos and I was just like, you know what? No. I got to, um, we, er, sorry, am I being too loud? Well, you're, the, my ears are right yeah. here. Earlier this, is this no. Oh, I am the, with my mom. Near <laughs> like, the end, <laughs> near the end content? of last year, <laughs> we got one of the first things we got to do after the COVID restrictions lifted was go to a reptile convention. So I got to hold a tarantula. How was that? It was absolutely amazing. It was as light as a feather Aww. and as soft as anything. But when she was taking it off my hand, you could feel its yeah. itty bitty tiny little claws oh, on you. Like so it's still really kind cool. of holding on. So yeah. Yeah. So anyways, I'm, I'm going to go cook supper, but I'm okay. absolutely loving the journey that I'm on with my son. So Aww. Oh, that's so beautiful. I'm so happy about... to hear that. <laughs> Thank you. I was telling her about your phone call with Carol Burnett. Oh, God, I cried after. I was of actually course. watching Mama's family on TV when he brought up the phone to tell me she was on the phone for me. So um, That's insane. Yeah. I, I met her once, and I don't have a lot of people like celebrities that I've met, but she kept calling me Miley. Like, she didn't even want to know my name. She's like, come on over here, Miley. I know you want a picture. <laughs> Miley, let's let's get better lighting and like, cause yeah. I like where I am like when like things are normal I guess like or the past <laughs> normal I'm right beside a morning TV show and they have okay. like celebrities come in and out and like while I'm getting my makeup done like they're in the show right That's cool. and she was there and obviously like I was like oh my gosh like so I was kind of like looking at her watching and she's like come on Miley you want the photo and I was like okay and she's like not here we need better lighting and she's like why are you shaking Miley and she just kept like referring to me as Miley and I was like that's ah. funny yeah. <laughs> well I'll let uh, I'll let Devin do the rest of the asking okay. and I'll watch the interview later because I have oh. questions where I'm I'm curious uh, about um, you and what you do so I'll watch the video remember we once. met Carlos yeah I know. he hosted oh, yes. on TV yeah. yeah. Remember when we met Phil? Yeah. yeah. He hosts YTV. Yeah. yeah. Remember yeah. when we met Spencer? Yeah. Now. She hosts right now. YTV. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's like, I've met like the last few hosts yeah. before you. So yeah, the big, I'll be interested to hear about your journey. Hitters. Oh, thank you. I'm happy <laughs> okay, to here. meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Bye. Okay. You can have that back. Thanks. We share, you see. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Oh my gosh, and you're both wearing red, I just noticed. Well, uh, yeah, I chose burgundy today. That was so nice. Yeah. Am I adopted now? Am I uh, in your family forever? Yeah, sure. Right. Through the laptop. For some reason, I have Nutter Butters. When I made an order, they were just like, here, you want a Nutter Butter? I don't. I'm not a they fan gave of Nutter you Butters. Oh, I thought you were saying you ordered a Nutter Butter and then they oh. gave you a Nutter Butter. Mm. I thought they gave you two. No, you just got one. But I'm eating it. Hi, Nikita. So, uh, can I ask you a couple questions? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just wait for the dog. My dog needs to personally greet everything that walks by the door. Uh oh, we talking ghosts. We talking spirits. I don't believe in them. Oh yeah, well we were talking about that earlier. Do you believe you don't believe in ghosts or spirits? Not anymore. Not anymore. Did one do you wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I go in and out rapidly with believing. It's been years since I believed in God. I think. But mm. my entire childhood, it was like, I believe. No, I don't for long periods of time. So then I can be like, I believe in ghosts and stuff. And then I'll go through long periods of time where I don't believe. And this is that time. Don't right. believe. Don't believe. I did a seance. I did a seance. And I, uh, I was haunted. But it was fake. It had to be fake. Of course, me, Spencer, like, the spirit was like, ah, throwing, throwing bells at me and stuff. It's like, oh, it was evil. It was a murderer. It's like, I thought it was a little boy. I thought it was a little nice boy. And I was like crying. I was like, go to the light, go to the light. Oh, it turns out to be the evil Renee. Like, of course that would happen to me. It's a lie. I'm fine. That was all a lie? Yeah, it was. It's like this guy, oh. he like, 
He does a show every night, three times. Which no show? No. His seance show. Oh, uh, oh James okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Right on. Um, so tell me a little bit about uh, your journey. <laughs> what? There's, there's, no. I was just like, I knew you wanted to ask a question, and I was like waiting for it, and then it was like, you started to, and it made me laugh. <laughs> Yeah. Like that, like I was like, what is he gonna say? And then I laughed and then I couldn't hear what you were saying. It's okay. Yeah, because like right. they're they're there. They're floating around. The spirits? No, the questions. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you kinda have to reach for them, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean it depends. Yeah. It depends. I know. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they come to you like right away and Well it, I think too like there with media like when you like if you were like okay when you like interview a celebrity and it's like you have three minutes and it's about their movie like yeah you have to hit those points like for that junction so it's a bit different right like the, right mm -hmm. now we can kind of flow with things there's pressure yeah. to be like okay what blah 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 <laughs> yeah 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 when i go to comic-con it's so much easier to do interviews because it's like three minutes right there how are yeah. you and yeah. uh, have you ever been to comic-con I've been, um, I have been, I've been, have I been? I think I've been, yeah, I've been. Toronto, Twice. Yeah, the Niagara Toronto Falls. one, I went once, I went, I went once with my dad, and then I did get to go once with YTV, and in the past, like, two years, I think I've become more nerdy, I think so, like, mm -hmm. I have some figurines, like, I have all of Nightmare Before Christmas, and Corpse Bride, I love stop motion movies, um, and, like, yeah, like, I like Disney now. Like, I'm quite mm -hmm. a fan of theme parks and, like, learning like learning how theme parks work. Like, I can watch that stuff on YouTube all the time. Um, obviously, you know a lot. Like, you watch a lot of movies. I don't re retain things in the way that I th that would be beneficial to me. Like, I can't remember. I really don't remember, like, names of actors or directors. Oh, yeah. But... But I do like experiencing a good movie a lot. And I was lucky. Like, I just hadn't seen a lot of movies. Like, in the pandemic, I got to see Terminator. Like, I had never seen Terminator. And it was just, like, so fun. Like, there's so many movies, iconic movies that I had yet to see. And still, like, I'm going through a lot. So later, I'm like, I want to get recommendations from you. Um, anyways, why I said all that? Because when I did go to Comic-Con... I don't think I appreciated it. I was on the verge. Like, I obviously thought mm -hmm. it was really cool. Like, I loved seeing people's outfits. But now, I love Halloween. Like, I love dressing up. Like, I could totally see myself going as a character that I love or spending the time and money to... What, what is it called again when you dress up? Cosplay. Cosplay. To cosplay yeah, yeah. and to enjoy, like, what people are selling. And, like, I just wasn't there yet. But I was in yeah. awe. But now I think I would be like, oh, my gosh. Here, yeah. take my money. Here, take my money. Pretty much. It's accurate. <laughs> the, when my mom, what my mom didn't tell you was the first time we went, we were there for an hour. Because... <gasps> Because she was like, everything is, they're all, they all are selling things. It's all money. It's all money. Yeah. But now we go there and we literally, we spend 14 hours there uh, throughout the weekend. Because I there is could, so You could find the love of your life. I've, I've decided it. You could. And don't trust me. I, it's going to happen. When I person. walk in there, sometimes I'm like, when I walk I'm like in the am I going to meet someone? No, you're cool. But uh, I, I normally don't because I don't get to talk a lot. I'm busy. Mm, he's busy that's true you are busy unless i'm gonna like interview florence Pugh and something oh, sparks her. fly she, okay i know that one because she i remember the name she was in midsummer midsummer no? yep. yeah okay yeah. she was in midsummer which that was movie crazy scared movie. me that movie literally shook me to my core i was so scared i watched hereditary after later i was much more okay with hereditary oh yeah I literally don't know why. It's so crazy the way I watched it. I was at, like, in Winnipeg, like, my baba's house. Like, my mom's asleep. It's, like, because it's, like, her house is from, like, the 50s. So it's, like, two little beds. And, like, I'm in this bed. My mom's in that bed. And, like, I'm, like, on my iPad watching Hereditary, completely quiet with headphones. Somehow I survived. But seeing... By yourself? Omar, like, yeah. are you in yeah. the bed with anybody? No, You're like, by yourself. it's two, two separate little twin beds. But my mom's here sleeping. And I would look over and she's asleep. And I'm watching hereditary but seeing midsommar in a cinema like in a movie theater was scarier to me like i don't know why it just like it hit something in my brain that was like i can't handle this <laughs> it was definitely like it was a mind bender i was watching like the colors and mixed with like just the weird 
the cultiness of it. Okay, you started hosting YTV in 2018? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And how did you do that? Okay, so I got the job because I went to Humber and it was a comedy program and I had done improv. Like, So you know how you were like 12 and you're going to Comic-Con and you're like by 14, you're creating these relationships and interviewing people? For me, I was that except in the world of improv. At a very young age, I was doing improv shows. I was doing jams with adults and like I was that kid in Toronto who did improv and sometimes it was funny um so I went to school for comedy I did stand-up I did sketch like I did writing and all this stuff and then I got into a tv writing program and within oh my god a week I was like I can't do this like I am too young like I've done my two years I'm not focused enough like I genuinely felt like there could be good opportunities to come out of this program and I I I just you know how I talked, right? Like I'm an octopus. Like I like mm-hmm. doing many different things. And the idea of just focusing on writing was hard for me. Whereas my boyfriend, Eli, he's a writer. He could write every day and we work really well together. Like I can pitch things and I can punch up and I can like, but I'm just, like I said, I'm more like that. So I kind of thought, okay, I'll take the year, focus on myself, focus on my mental health. And then I'll come back because in a year I can do it. And within that year, someone in improv who worked at chorus who did ads like like so many of those ads you know like that voice that we hear on ytv like that voice that's been that voice forever like yeah. you're in the zone. like he writes all of that he writes all of that uh and he did improv like and he was like really knew me and he was like i heard that they're looking for a host uh he sent me the producer one of the producers emails we started emailing back and forth i made a video they actually came to watch me do improv and I swear it was one of the best nights of my life. Like I was getting like basically standing ovations doing improv, which is ridiculous. <laughs> it's just like, I was really lucky. Like, and in wow. between, in between I was barfing, I was barfing. Like I would get off stage, go to the washroom and barf. Like that's how much I couldn't handle the stress. And then it was a long process. Like it was off and on. I don't think they needed someone right away. So they were able right. to come, like, feel it out and then now it was real game time and it was the real audition in the sense that like i was in the studio i was saying lines i was having to talk to the camera i was having to say hey what's up zed heads and blah, 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 blah. and it was hard and it was scary and i had watched so many videos i had watched all the hosts i watched them on instagram i watched what they did i would practice like i was living and breathing it and mm-hmm. then the next audition was to do it with the other hosts to see if you have like chemistry um and I actually saw this girl who I was like so jealous of and I saw her back and I knew it was her and I was like oh my gosh I can't go up against her she's like she's everything I'm not (laughs) who is that do we know who that is like like I know who she is um, oh, and- <laughs> oh! She was up against you for the yeah. role. Oh, yeah. I thought you the so, host. So, so in my head, yeah, she's up against me for the role, and in my head, like she's everything I've always been jealous of. Like, I'm like, I can't even do this. I remember calling my mom and being like, I can't do it. I can't do it. And she was like, Okay, Spencer, maybe this is too hard for you. And I was like, Why would you say that? And I did it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I have heard that it came down to kids voting. And they voted for me, which is really cool. Uh, At the end of the day, that's what you want. Like, you want the kids, the viewers. They connected with me, which is is awesome. Like, I I also teach improv to kids. Like, I love kids. Um, Mm -hmm. So that's how that happened. And then I went right into it. And I struggled in the sense of, like, my own negativity. And, like, like, when I couldn't say a line right or if I messed up a take, like, I was really hard on myself, like so hard, so much pressure. And it's taken a long time to realize, like, I don't need to be like that, that if I do mess up, (laughs) it's not that big of a deal, first of all, Mm -hmm. but we're going to re-record and I can use my energy as a laugh and laugh about it versus like when I would be like, you're dumb you're not good at this. You don't deserve to be here. You know how many other people should be here? Like, of course, that, how am I going to perform? But if I like laugh at it and I use it energetically to enjoy being here, it's good. Uh, mm. So then going into Phil, like when I worked with him, I got to produce some social media content, which was really cool. 
Um, but he's that. He uh, doesn't care about mistakes. Uh, <laughs> he loves them. And he's playful and he's connected to himself. And he's a literal, like, like in the nicest way, I mean this, like a clown. Like he understands comedy. He gets the beats. He moves around. He's just like, yeah. just watching him. And doing, like, the, there were a few takes, and, like, every take was new. Every take was alive. And I just was, like, it felt so good because, to me, deep down, that's what I've always wanted to do. And to mm-hmm. see a legend doing it. I even asked, like, I was like, hey, uh, have you ever made a mistake? <laughs> he's like, yeah, all the time. And he's like, you know what happened? Like, parents would come up to me and thank me because it taught their kids that they can keep going even in the mistake and I was like oh my gosh yeah so and then I do the podcast which is all about me not knowing things it's all about me embracing like my messiness (laughs) and my Mm -hmm. personality so it's all like it's really for me like from early 20 to now 24 May 25 I'll be 25 in May has been this interesting like coming back into myself and realizing like everything that I am is good it's not that I need to be perfect it's not like it just (laughs) I just didn't realize that like I thought I thought me being the best me was like looking in the camera and saying every line verbatim and Mm. getting it on take one yeah that that's incredible I mean that you're able to realize that something of that capacity is important and it's it's i think ultimately it's so much more sustainable right like this other way of being of beating myself up obviously i got the job for a reason like duh like i got it (laughs) i'm the one doing Mm -hmm. it and yet in my head i'm always going i'm not good enough i'm not hearing that that was me telling myself that it's not sustainable like to try to be perfect like that Mm-hmm. versus just like literally being yourself like <laughs> like it's yeah, way yeah. easier it's way easier and it's like I was a kid in school who asked a lot of questions you know like mm-hmm. I put my hand up a lot I didn't sometimes someone would explain something to me and it didn't make sense and I had to ask questions so that's me I'm gonna ask questions I'm I might not get it on the first time but I'm gonna get there yeah and, and you know like everybody's so different and that's what's cool like it's neat to meet people who can do it on the first take and who have that ability or like like for me like I there's a lot to you but I also look up to the fact of you being able to you know remember these people's names and like information on movies and like tv in the background like to me that's so cool right and like Mm -hmm. there are just so many different types of people and like just like being able to see what you have and love it and then instead of being like, oh, I wish I was this way, I wish I was this yeah, way, yeah. like, 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 there well, are a lot of cool things. <laughs> yeah, so, oh. when I think of, like, someone doing something, and they're, do- like, on the first take, yeah, okay, I think of, I think of Tanner, you know Tanner? Tanner? Oh, yeah, right. we actually interviewed him on the podcast, uh, yeah, I know, like, we've talked I, a few times, yeah, I did, I interviewed him on, at Niagara Falls Fan Fest, where was PJ walked in, is? Was that ish. recently-ish? Yeah, like a year and a half, two years October. now? October. Well, October, so October. very recent. Yeah, no, very recent. Yeah, okay. And then PJ walked in front of my camera, and he did it on purpose because he came back and, like, did <laughs> something in front of it. Yeah. Anyways, but Tanner, because everybody's seen Tanner on the, and on the big screen doing yeah. this stuff, and so, like, for me, I've always looked up to him, and I, and I like, I thought, like, like, how does he do that? Like, yes. does, like, and I'm sure that not everything is on the first take, but if you talk about some, talent, some, some people, some people have that. Like I would think yeah. Tanner does. Like Dewin, who works on BFM, like the big fun movies on YTV, like he can look at a big script monologue talking about movies, talking about celebrities, and he's capable. Like he's amazing. Like he mm-hmm. can look right in the camera and say it on the first take, and it's yeah, it is like. It, it's just like an incredible skill and like it might be something like you can practice and get to but I think it is a bit of a it's a bit of a gift and then with practice it will get mm-hmm. better yeah because like 
yeah, like there's that, and then also like Phil, who who's more fluid with it, and like he could look at the paper and like talk, and like it's a different, it's just a different like vibe. But they're both incredible, and I was like always trying to put myself in that sort of space, mm-hmm. but it didn't like it was like putting a, a puzzle jigsaw piece that like isn't gonna fit there, but I wanted yeah. to, like I wanted to yeah, so yeah. badly. <laughs> Yeah. Best we can do is just keep keep moving forward, right? Yeah. Be no matter what. <laughs> um have fun with it. Yeah. Breathe, you know. Breathe. Oh yeah. For sure. Um I think like I told you originally that the interview's like fifteen minutes. Didn't you ask oh. for like how long are no. your interviews? I didn't. <laughs> oh you didn't? Oh, okay. I don't know. But <laughs> sometimes they get far. Like I interviewed Larry <laughs> Hankin who was the Larry Hankin, did you watch Breaking Bad? I actually didn't. I did not watch oh. it. So which one is he? He is well, he was also in Home Alone. He answers oh. the phone. Oh, okay, wait. Let me... Eating a donut. Eating a donut. I could de- definitely cast my screen too. Oh really? Forgot about that. Like to Zoom, I could. Yeah. Okay, wait, Larry. I'm the worst at spelling. Larry... Hankin, H A N K I N. Oh, K I N. Okay. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Where are they, when oh, is he doing friends. the donut thing? Friends? Okay, mis- okay, that makes sense. Wait, but Mr. was he in Heckles. Home Alone? Was he yeah. in Home Alone? Okay, wait. He, look, I have to he was see the them. cop. Oh, when she calls wow, him. look at him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so you guys talked for a long time? Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we, we openly talked like about uh, ADHD and dyslexia. Oh, two of, okay. He has both. Yeah. So... We we were talking about that, how it was, like, working on set and, like, how it was, like, trying to memorize lines when, you know, you can't, how how it's, like, writing when you have dyslexia. Mm-hmm. And so we ended up talking, like, we went on for an hour and 20 minutes. Wow. And it was epic. Spencer, you have uh, your show of your own called Spencer yeah. Wants to Know. Tell me about it. Okay, well... I, 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 uh, oh, whoa, what's this? What? Oh, come on. It's a po. It's a po. It's a, it's a post. A poster. Post. <laughs> Spencer Wants to Know is my podcast. I release weekly episodes every Monday. It started from a place of me feeling like I didn't know things. And I was getting tired of it. I was tired of having conversations and pretending I knew what people were talking about. I missed a lot of school as a kid, a lot of school. I faked being sick. I hated it. I barely passed many times. I went to seminary school many times. <laughs> and my boyfriend, <laughs> Eli, he's got my stack of report cards. And every week we sit down in these chairs. He's prepped what the episode's going to be about. He's gone through the report cards. He's chosen a subject. He has excerpts about me. He has this, like, specific, like... Uh, report on my childhood like it's deep I haven't even read it but it's like there's a lot of tea in there when I would bite kids or how I the uh, lots of stuff about my mental health so I sit down I find out what the subject is I, yeah, I talk obviously and then he gives me a pretest, and then we see what my mark is and then I get a cram session to see if I pass or fail the final test uh, and each episode has different stakes. If I pass, it's something good for me. If I fail, not something good for me. But it's been really right fun and rewarding and, like, sharing my life. And, like, I came out about, like, my mental health, which I, I never thought I would. I have borderline personality disorder. And, like, mm-hmm. I literally thought that would be my secret forever. Like, Eli shared a lot, too. Like, Eli's kind of like, no one knows who Eli is. <laughs> no one knows what he looks like. <laughs> and, like, he's he's an interesting person too. So it, it, it really is like welcoming everyone into our, like our world. And it's kind of relatable. Like school is relatable. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so every Monday a new episode drops and we're going to be having more people on uh, as well that we will interview and see what they were like in school. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. And I, and I have to say like, I can like, um, I can see similarities, I guess. Um, we have a lot of the same mindset. Yeah. Which is wanting, like, I'm the same. I'm the same. I Like, my mom said I made friends with comedians. That The friend that I am in that group of comedians is the, let's make a joke that goes over Devin's head. 
<laughs> I, like I just I sit. I've learned over over my life. The one thing I've learned, and you might know, is just the smile and nod. Yes. Oh my gosh, I know that so well. I I know what you're talking about. I, yeah. No, I but I don't. Yeah. I do that so many times. Yeah. 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 I know. I uh, I'm I I try not to do it as much anymore. But even like even still, because it's like it depends on who you're talking to, right? Like you just kind of mm-hmm. change a bit. It's just it happens. Yeah. <laughs> so like the other day, I was like talking to someone and I did it. I was like, oh no, I thought I got past this, but I literally was like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then the worst possible thing, if you if you do it, and then they're and then they're like. They catch you. And, the, and then they ask you a question or something like, do you, like, what do you think? <laughs> you know, like, damn it. That's where improv comes in handy. Right? <laughs> I'm going to need some lessons on that because uh, I embarrassed myself a lot as a kid in improv. Oh, right. But that's what it's the all acting. about. Embarrassing that's yourself. Yeah, it is. It is. Because that's where that's where the fun lies. <laughs> but like, and then there was like, there's a lot of stuff. I, I went on stage doing con- like not so much comedy oh no it was the radio doing radio and like when i would draw a blank i'd like i'd I'd feel like this thing in my stomach like sink i'm like like damn it like that's that's the (sighs) one thing i don't want to do is just start start being like uh sorry guys like do you want to do you want to know the cure that i would say for that what's that you be even more honest because what you're doing is you're masking the fact that you feel like crap and that you Mm. failed but if you were to literally be like, oh my gosh, guys, I'm drawing blanks and I hate myself right now. Like yeah, that yeah. would, that yeah, would yeah. actually, and that like, so for me, when I do improv, like number one, I am always trying to focus on the person I'm connecting with because if I'm ego, ego about like, I need to be funny, I need to be funny. It doesn't usually work. It doesn't usually work. So mm-hmm. one, I always focus on the other person. I always try to connect and make a world with them. But when I'm failing and like, or feel like I'm failing, I use that. I use that use that stuff because because audiences want to see authenticity they want you to be honest and even if they don't know what's up like they don't know that like oh he 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 has a sinking pit in his stomach you can feel it like you can just tell like something's different so when Mm -hmm. you just like bring it up and you say it honestly it makes us all breathe again (laughs) yeah yeah right on yeah i know what you mean though kind of being being honest about it sometimes that's what i try to do yeah Uh, sometimes sometimes it's like sometimes things catastrophically go wrong like one time (laughs) you know i didn't hit record Mm. the whole interview hey uh (sighs) can we do the whole interview again that hurts yeah that would hurt that's a lot of well it's a lot of pressure too right like and you just when you have five things to record on your own which it would be great to have someone (laughs) <laughs> there you know yeah. behind the camera yeah. or behind the com- yeah. another computer yeah. but um yeah anyways where can <laughs> we find spencer wants to know uh spotify apple amazon music google play or you can look it up on the sonar network website spencer wants to know literally just google it it pops up and there's an rss feed which just means you can click play and it plays but hey if you check it out Give us five stars on Spotify or on uh, Apple. We were on TV, okay? We were on a morning show for this. We're great. We're good. You should check it out. People love it that do listen. They really like it. Join. Join me. Join me. (laughs) Do Um, it now. But uh yeah okay. I'm not drawing a blank. I'm 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 going to say something, but then it's getting stopped like right here and I'm like okay am I wait d- you know and yeah. I'm like okay should I say that or not something because another lesson that I've learned is think before you speak. Uh, but I uh, but like that, that <laughs> counteracts with the whole trying to go with the flow because now my mindset is kind of like ah. while I'm listening uh, it's all it's all mumbo jumbo. But mumbo it works out. Mumbo jumbo. Spencer, thank you for joining me. Aw, of course. It was an absolute pleasure. I had such a blast. I loved getting to know who you are, which I think is very important because when you first started this whole process at 12, you wanted to be interviewed. So it's great that you are interviewing (laughs) so many people and connecting with so many people. But it was also really cool to connect with who you are as a person at the age of 18. Congratulations on doing so much. Hold that to your heart. Remember what you're doing because that's what's important. 
and mm -hmm. like be a bit more of an octopus like me. Right. And same to you. I think that uh, what you're doing is great. This is the dev show. I'm here with Spencer and we're out. That's how I end every episode. I just Bye. Say we're out. Bye. We're, we're out. out. I, I'm out. I don't have an Audi belly, but it, I'm Neither not do I. to. We, we swear we don't mind. Do you clean your belly button? Do I clean? Um, I think that, uh, like, uh, when I, when you think about it in the shower, I mean, like, yeah, yeah but do I ever, like, get all the way to the bottom? I don't know. Oh, ew. A belly button bottomless pit? No. That's crazy, eh? Like, it was yes. just, like, attached to our mom, and then they were just like, ugh, you know, like, <laughs> it was, yeah. like, tie it up like a balloon. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, my God. All right, that kid's good. <laughs> yeah. oh, Can you untie it? What would happen? What would happen? Is that the bottomless belly bit pit? If you untie it, <gasps> can you blow? If you untie it, can you blow air into it? And then your belly, like, oh, it grows, it gets a little bigger. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, me neither. I can tell you. I know that that. I mean, it's food goes through it, right? So, uh, so wait, how wait. does it? Uh, just seriously, you have to tell me some movies to watch. Oh yeah, okay. All right. What would I what would I say? Um have you seen okay. Labyrinth? Oh my god, I love Labyrinth. Oh, yeah. Literally love Labyrinth. I grew up watching it. My mom swore that I had a crush on David Bowie. I didn't. I love Labyrinth. I love movies like that. I love like the puppets and the fantasy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I watched it I think 2 years ago again and I was like, "Is eh, this age to like find one?" <laughs> It, uh, it's my favorite movie. Ever? Really? <laughs> yeah. Aww. Yeah, it is. Because wow. that was my childhood movie, was that. Aww. And the never Have you seen story. Dark Crystal? Have you seen Dark yeah. Crystal? Like the, like, a, yeah, I haven't watched it in a long time, but I've been meaning to. Yeah, um, and then Never Ending Story, obviously. Yes. Like, oh my gosh. Nostalgic uh. movies, um, other movies that I, like recently I just watched The Matrix because Oh, okay. I've been yeah. well, I want to watch the new ones, so I'm watching yes. the old ones. Okay. Um, I I did that too actually. I watched all three. Oh, yeah? What one are you on? Are you still on one? Oh, I'm on the second one now. Okay. Yeah, it's, number 3 gets a little low. <laughs> yeah, I, but... I haven't like I've seen them when I was young, so it's yes, like yeah. a fever dream right now. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> other movies, other good ones. I mean, other, I have a Letterboxd account. I keep track oh. of, of like my movies. Oh. I think. Oh, is that uh, what? That's what. That's what that is. That's neat. Yeah, like keep track of, rate it, review it, oh. everything. Oh. Um, Plug that in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the, you ever see a Spike? You know who Spike Lee is. I know the name of Spike Lee, but I don't know if I've really seen any of his movies. So which one are you gonna say? Do the right thing. Okay. Okay. That's there. a very, very, very awesome movie. Okay, see? Right there. Should That's watch that. I will watch um, it. I will watch it. Right Midsummer, I just recently watched. Yes, God, Yes. Have no, you seen I... that? Yes. Oh, this looks like a really good movie. A yes, God, Yes. No, I haven't. I'm just, like, Googling it. It's Ooh. an interesting one. Oh, yeah. This looks like something I probably would like. You didn't even read the, the synopsis. Yeah, but it's, like, schoolgirl. <laughs> yeah, but read very the... lusty. Lusty. Yes. Yes. Like, I can read... see she's probably... Oh, do you... have you seen Superstar with Molly Shannon? It's, like, that's the comedic version of this movie. Because she, like, she's never been kissed. And she's, like, she, like, puts her hands in her armpits and, like, I smells haven't seen them. It. She, she's a schoolgirl, right? And she's, like, super duper horny. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like this is, like, the serious version of that movie, just from the well, one picture. Well, it's not so serious, A but Catholic it, girl I thought finds it was good. herself... Oh, tempting thoughts after a nail. Ooh, okay. It's on... Supposedly, it's on Netflix. It is. Cool. I've watched right. it, like, three times. It's a short three movie. Three times? And it's only an hour and, like, 15, 20, 30 minutes. So, I've yeah, I've watched it a few times. It's that good, okay. in my opinion. Just, like, the concept of, like, she's, she goes to a Catholic retreat and, like... Yeah. It, there, it's fun. ironic there's okay the way i described it on letterbox i said i said it's uh it's lustfully his uh it's l lustful hypocrisy oh so watch it and then tell me if you agree with okay. those two words okay um do you like wes anderson 
Yeah, but I haven't seen enough of his movies. Like I, have, I haven't, I haven't finished Isle of Dogs, which is ridiculous because I love stop okay. motion. Okay, Grand Budapest Hotel. I saw that in the theaters, but it's been so long. Like I could probably enjoy it again. Give that a watch. I've watched that like five times. Really? Uh, Rushmore. Is that another one of his? Yeah, Rushmore is Wes Anderson. Okay. Hotel. Okay. I think this is more than enough for me. Okay. Those unless are the ones one, that I... Unless there's uh, one you're, like, really wanting to say one more. Not necessarily. I mean, uh, uh, The Girl Next Door is good. The, the Girl Next Door and Rushmore are both movies that are going to have you, like, kind of feeling... Hmm. Uh, I don't know how to... Like, you don't want the movie to end. Oh. Right? Okay. You're like, okay, like, I'm not ready for this to be over. Like, have you seen all the uh, map of tiny perfect things? No. Map okay. of... Wait, map of all the t- perfect tiny things? Map of tiny perfect things. This guy is going through an, a loop the same day over and over. Ooh, that's like... It's so... like... Uh, I understand what you're, what you're thinking right now, but it's good. No, no, no. It's, no, I was just going to say, like, Andy Samberg. No, a- Adam. What's his name? I always mess him up. Andy Samberg. That has to be the name. He had a movie where he was in a loop recently. I watched it. Might have been him. I don't know. But then he and, finds this girl that's also in a loop with him. The loop, loop movie I'm talking about is Palm Springs with Andy Samberg, and they're in a loop, and it's a comedy. It's a yeah, straight that's, up you seen that it too? That was released... No, I, I, uh, part of it. Uh, that was yeah. released about the same time as Tiny time. Perfect Things. Because sometimes sometimes things like... Like, it's almost... It's like a trend almost in a, way, a weird mm-hmm. way. Like, it, like similar genres. But I like that movie, so maybe I'll like this one too. Also, yeah. I have to tell you, there's a movie I really liked. It's called Shiva Baby. Uh, and when you're talking about Yes, God, Yes, I was like, maybe you'd like this. Because mm-hmm. she's Jewish. And then she's a sugar baby. Um, and she's going to, like, I can't remember what the word is, but it's a funeral. Like, they're celebrating the person's life. And yeah. it's a family, a big family event. And she comes, and it is the most nerve-wracking film I've ever watched. And it's so funny because, spoiler, her sugar daddy is there, married oh. to someone. Damn. And you, it's just, like, it, but it's, like, it's so good because, like, it's, she's young and she's competing with this other girl who's more successful and like family and it's like i think it's only like an hour and 20 minutes and like once it Mm -hmm. ends it's that same thing of like you don't want it to end but then also you do because you're like i'm having a heart attack (laughs) yeah yeah i'll give it a watch i will give it a watch well i have lots i have lots to watch now which is great i love that did you take those down so much i did i wrote it down yeah another good one is is um I forget what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's called Jumper. Okay. And this guy, he can teleport, basically. Oh, okay. So he can go anywhere he wants. I love that movie. Um, I don't think I ever saw it. Is it there? I, well, it's making I'm me not think sure. of Looper. Lo- 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 Looper? Not, Looper mate. Is that what it is, you think? Uh, I don't think so. <clears throat> Obviously, that's a movie. Okay, Looper is with Joseph Gordon Levitt. Ah, uh, yeah, Bruce Willis. it's not Looper. It's not Looper. Looper. <laughs> Looper. It's not Lubricant. <laughs> Can't talk. Jumper. It's called Jumper. 2008. Okay, so we know the year. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. It's with Hayden oh! Christensen. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right here. I don't know how I didn't see it sooner. Oh, I'm on the trailer. Sam Jackson. Michael Rooker, who... I this met. sounds fun. I feel like this might be what I'll watch first. Jumper? Yeah, why not? It is a very fun movie because, like, there's other jumpers and, like, I would wow. love to teleport. Because wow. if I could. Yeah? What are you looking? The trailer? Oh, sorry. Yeah. But I'm also saying wow to what you're saying. Oh. Like, other jumpers. I was like, whoa. Yeah, it sounds fun. A teenager with teleportation ability suddenly finds himself in the middle of an ancient war between those like him and their sworn. I don't know. I don't know. How to say yeah, that that's both. Hilli- and the and the alienated. A and the hilli- A N N I H I L A T O S. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The annihilators are a fictional team. Okay, so it's it's not like a a word like like a oh, norm, like it's a, a name. Like a, it's a name, so they're a type of comic book, it's saying. Hmm. I don't know. You know what? 
we I'm gonna watch the movie and then I'll okay. know. Okay, I'll watch okay. it and then I'll be Let like Animal Eliminators. <laughs> I'll be like, what you think? Okay, sounds good. <laughs> you ever seen the movie Up? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, I know, because you interviewed him. So what was he famous for before all this up stuff? Okay, he was an elf. Really? Mary Tyler Moore with Betty White and and Mary Tyler Moore. Um, what is is that a show? Yeah, that's the Lou name. Grant. He had a he was president of SAG. Yeah, yeah. See, this is what I mean. Like, it's like I really don't know enough pop culture. Like, I'm trying to, but like, it's rare. I think for the age that you are to know this much. Like, you've worked really oh, yeah. hard yeah. to like get this information because like my sister is 15 and like she. I feel like there's a lot of things like I could be like, oh, have you seen this? Have you heard of that? And she's like, no. <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah. it takes work. <laughs> yeah, to to know stuff. Yeah, takes a lot of work. Spencer, thanks again for for Thank joining you. me. Thank you. Thank you. And um, we're actually we're actually done now.